Comparing numbers. Let's pretend that you were looking in the newspaper and you saw an advertisement for two different houses. You might need to compare numbers in order to determine which one is the better deal. Um, in order to compare, the steps that you will follow are first start at the left. Start at the um, largest place value all the way to the left. Compare the digits in each place value position until the digits are different. So let's do an example using these same two numbers. I've rewritten them down here and we're going to follow those directions and figure out which house is the better deal. Um, we look at first at the hundred thousands place and see that they're both ones. In the ten thousands place, both sevens. In the thousands place, ah, we have something different. So that means that this number, this entire number, is going to be larger than this entire number. So this is the bigger number. And we would use this sign, which stands for less than, to say that 175,499 is less than 176,000. It doesn't matter what comes in the hundreds place or the tens place or the ones place because this thousand, six thousand, is bigger than five thousand, so none of the rest of this matters. We, like I said here, we are using the sign less than. Less than is an inequality symbol, and greater than goes in the opposite direction. And of course, if numbers are equal, we will use the equal to sign. Here's a few more notes as you compare numbers that you'll want to keep in mind. It might be helpful to you to line up the digits when you are comparing numbers. Sometimes you'll get so many numbers at once that you're comparing that if you'll put them vertically instead of horizontally, you'll be easy and quick to um, compare them. So here are three numbers, and I just rewrote them up here vertically. You need to be sure that you line up your place values. So you're going to line up the numbers on the right so that all the ones digits are together, all the tens digits, and so on. Immediately, I can see then by comparing this place value that this number is in fact the smallest. Let's say I would have been asked to put them in order from greatest to least, okay? Um, and so let's write greatest to least. I'm going to go from biggest to smallest. Then I'm going to look in my um, hundred thousands. I mean, sorry, 10,000s column, so far so good. Then when I have to compare these two, I see still the same, um, same digit in the thousands place. Then here in the hundreds place, I can see that this eight is bigger than this six. So all I would need to do would to be to swap these two if I was gonna order them from greatest to least. And it was easy to do that because I lined up the digit. So that's a trick to help you. Um, here's a shortcut that might you might have already know, but let's put words to it. Less digits means a smaller number, but this trick will only work for whole numbers. So let's show what that means. Here I have a number with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven digits. This number has one, two, three, four, five, six digits. This whole number, which means no decimal, is smaller than this one. I don't even have to do any other comparing because this one has more digits. The reason that that rule works is because it's like we have an invisible zero right here in the millions place. And because one is of course bigger than zero, this number is larger, this 1,024,850. Be careful though, don't use that trick if you have decimals because that counting the digits won't work if you have decimals. This, this idea is only good for whole numbers. And finally, the order matters when you read an um, inequality statement, a greater than or less than statement. Always read in the same order that we um, read things from a book. We always are going to read an inequality statement from left to right. Um, oftentimes, when you are in first grade or second grade, you probably heard about the alligator, and we want to um, say with the inequality sign that this alligator mouth is going to eat the bigger number, that's fine. But now in fourth grade, you must be able to not just point it in the right direction, but know that this reads as greater than. So if we're going to read this whole statement, it would be 180,551 is greater than 180,451. When you switch the order of the numbers, so I'm going to put this one over here and this one over here, notice that the sign changes, it switches the direction, and then we still read it going from left to right. You don't start over here and read it. 
180,451 is less than 180,551. So be sure that you can not only place them in the right direction, but that you are able to read the statements correctly left to right. Let's look at two examples where we would have to use the, that skill of comparing numbers in order to solve a problem. I have which of the following is not true, and I have four statements here. So my best strategy is to go through each one of those and determine whether it's true or not true, and remembering that I'm looking for the one, or maybe more than one, that is not true. So I'm going to start with the first place value. Oh, I immediately see something. I think they're trying to trick me here. I immediately see that this digit is in the hundred thousands place, seven, but this seven is in the millions place. There are seven digits here and only six digits here. I don't even have to compare any more numbers because I know this has more digits, this is bigger. So this statement is true. Now let's look over here. I see they have the same number of digits. Ten thousands place are equal, thousands place are the same. Uh, in the hundreds place, this one is bigger and it is written correctly. Less than, this number is less than 65,572. Down here I see that we have the same number of digits and then I'm going to work my way from left to right. That's the same. Ah, right there in the hundred thousands place, this digit is smaller than this one in the hundred thousands place. So this sign should be going the other way because this number is less than this one. So we should flip it like this and I'm going to put an X on there. So, so far that would be one of the answers that I would choose because it's not a true statement. And then finally, same number of digits. Same, those are the same, those are the same. In this spot, this tens digit is bigger than this tens digit. So yes, in fact, this number is larger and that would be correct. So I would circle this as my only correct answer. And finally, when I'm going to show you the kind of problem that most fourth graders miss if it's an ordering question. Order these numbers from greatest to least. Now, lots of fourth graders, but not you, lots of fourth graders immediately see that and their brains just have a little moment of, um, you know, checking out and they think, least to greatest, I can do this, and they rush through it. But you have to carefully read which order it's asking you to put it in. Do not be the person who goes, ugh, not again, I missed the order. So make sure, do something to, re to remind yourself that you're supposed to go from greatest to least or least to greatest, whatever it's asking for. So when I started to do this problem, I made myself, when I saw greatest to least, I made myself write a big to small so that when I started to order them, I double checked that they were going in that order. So let me take a good look. All of them are the same in the 10,000s place. So far that looks good. And then, then because this, I know this one's less, I only have to then do the top two. That looks the same, aha, uh -huh. that eight is bigger than that five, so they are in order from greatest to least. So don't be that person who doesn't read the directions and misses a simple problem like ordering.